Okay, let's say that you've made something in Fusion 360 and you want to take it to your ShopBot CNC router. Um, how do you do that? So my design's complete. I'm here in my model workspace. If I click on model up here, you see you've got several different workspaces you can enter. Let's go down to the CAM environment. So now I've already created a setup for this particular file. Um, you can see I'm going to pocket those. I'm going to do the interior contours for the slot and the, the hole. And then I'm going to do the exterior contours. Um, hit Control G, these all update so that they actually jive with the, uh, the actual physical model. Um, so how do you take this and export that to your ShopBot CNC router? And that's what we're going to cover right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and right click on my setup. I'm going to go to post process. So right here I've got my cloud posts is what um, my configuration folder is set up to right now. But I'm going to go ahead and change that to use uh, online post library. And that's going to bring me open up a web page where Autodesk has kind of compiled a whole bunch of these. And so you can find your post here by going to shopbot. And scrolling down, you can see you've got two options. Um, and you want to use this open SBP. So you can go ahead and download that. And then once you come back, I'm actually going to go into show it in the folder, copy. And then now that I'm back in Fusion 360, uh, one little trick you can do is open up your, your data panel, get to the root of your projects, scroll all the way down to the bottom, double click on your assets, and then under cam posts, I'm going to upload from the download folder, Shopbot one CSP and upload. So what's that that's doing is actually putting it on the cloud. So no matter which machine I'm at, if I'm logged in on Fusion 360 under my username, this post processor will always be available to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that, close my data panel. Now I'm going to right click on my setup again, go to post process, under my cloud posts, I now have the option to do shopbot 1cps. And what I can do is hit post, name it, so let's just do shopbot post screen. And that's going to open up, and that's got all the uh, callouts already for the ShopBot. So you can just run over to your machine, plug that in, and you'll be good to go. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know below, and have a great day.